Hey, hi there, Gemini. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for February 2020. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Gemini, off-camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards, just for you. We will be using a card from the Oracle deck, Numerology, by Michelle Buchanan. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the situation. This is the issue of the matter. The Nine of Wands, Gemini. Someone's moon in Sagittarius. Now this is fire energy. This person is feeling tired. He's persevering. He's strong, as you can see. He's been through a lot. He has strength and determination. But he's solitary and suspicious. This has to do with being a attainment, some completion here. It's reflection. And it's the strength to overcome trouble. It's strength in waiting and victory through courage. It's confronting difficulties, and now it's the end of a cycle. It's the pause in the struggle, but you're prepared and you have strength in reserve, and there's eventual victory, but steady force must be applied. Your second card, and this is the energy, that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Seven of Pentacles. Gemini, Earth Energy, card of waiting, stepping back and assessing all the things that you've put in, your time, your effort, your money, your investments. It's the pause then during the development. It's having to have patience. It's taking a break. But the harvest is yet to come. It's reevaluation. Y'all, you know, you're still waiting for success. And you're aiming for the long-term growth, not the instant rewards. And your investments will pay off in the future. This is a time-out card. You've been working for something for a while. And now you're looking back and rethinking about whether you're on the right path. Some readjustment may be needed, but you're not failing. You are learning. But you're questioning your standpoint. And you're looking from a different perspective. But this warns not to stop for long, because all those past efforts will only come to fruition through consistent effort. This is the completion of a phase. It's reevaluating. It's being concerned and impatient for results, and wondering if this will work and what you will get out of it, and you're planning your next move. The Nine of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles, this is waiting, it's feeling underappreciated. You're being restless and worried about how to proceed. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are aware of. Number one of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Magician. This is one of your cards, Gemini. Air energy, ruled by Mercury, has to do with creative power and intention and will. This is a masculine energy card. This is someone that can draw power from above to materialize their desires. This is a need to remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen and stay focused on your goals. It's a time for creation and beginning and taking on challenges. It's new opportunities and a time for action and it's potential in abundance. It's a very important beginning and you'll need to work to achieve your goal. It's practical action using your will and your mastery and your organizational skills and your creative talents, and you're con consciously creating your life experience and being a master at your craft. You're definite in your views. This is the ability to make things happen in your life, and usually the will to succeed. It's action and changes and new starts. The Nine of Wands with the Magician, this is battling with someone that's very convincing. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results. The Three of Swords, Gemini, more air energy. No, this is a card of a painful truth. It can be feeling separated from someone you, that you love. It could be some kind of flash of understanding, a difficult realization. It could bring some emotional pain. Maybe your hopes were higher than the results, and that can bring some sorrow and regret. 
There can be separation or severance. It's feeling the pain of separation. And this suffering comes from holding on to the past. It can be the end of a relationship, the loss of trust due to a betrayal or a rejection, or losing your job. It could also be the end of some sort of ailment through surgery, or letting go of some way of thinking that is no longer useful. It's not an easy loss, but the release will make room for further growth and maturity. Pain is a strong motivator to change, and when you fix it, you can grow. The Nine of Wands with the Three of Swords, this is avoiding facts and maybe someone that could be scared of the truth. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. It's once unseen. It's unseen is because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Number nine of the Major Arcana, the Hermit. This can be a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Now, this has got, this is wisdom offered, it's inner guidance, introspection, insight. It's receiving wisdom from above. It's seeking meaning and attainment of goals. The hermit withdraws from the world in order to find wisdom. And isolation allows the mind to look inwards. This is a shift of attention away from people towards examination of yourself and of your life. It's seeking solutions on your own. could also be someone that will give guidance. Maybe in a different direction than you originally thought. And you may find out something substantial. This is a spiritual quest for truth and enlightenment. It's being up in your head, solitude and study and self-examination, being alone and private and serious, studious, unhurried. Someone might be shy and introspective. They may be discriminating or feel like they're an outsider, but they're really an old soul. As a spiritual mentor, they can teach you how to find answers within you because the answers are deep in your soul. And you are in your true spiritual path. This is the card of the Pathfinder. The Nine of Wands with the Hermit is fighting your battle alone. The Seven of Pentacles with the Magician is supporting dexterity and skills. It's working with tools. Seven of Pentacles with the Three of Swords is moving ahead before the time is ripe. The Seven of Pentacles with the Hermit is a need to evolve in peace. Let everything fall into place, and keep your eyes open for a lesson. Could be cashing in on an investment. The magician with the three of swords, you are more in control of this pain than you realize. You are not a passive victim. The magician with the hermit may have a hard time relaxing, and maybe you're overanalyzing or analyzing other people too much. It's learning the skills to have patience and understanding of yourself and others. The Three of Swords with the Hermit is painful introspection. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Card number 74. Nature. Card number 74. This card indicates a need to spend quality time in nature. Nature has the ability to heal and replenish you when you're feeling tired, anxious, or depressed. Even a 10-minute walk outside will help revitalize, balance, and ground you. When you merge your enemy with Mother Earth, you enhance your connection to the divine. Perhaps you've been spending too much time inside or around computers or electrical devices. Maybe you're feeling stressed and indecisive or confused. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to improve your mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being by walking along a beach or in a garden or a park, hiking through the forest, bush, or mountains, or desert, swimming in an ocean, river, or lake, or stream, taking a trip into the wilderness or the countryside, going camping or horseback riding, gardening or having a picnic, lying in the sun, walking in the rain, or playing in the snow, or reading under a tree. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to spend time in the outdoors. When you align yourself with Mother Nature, you align yourself with Source, and this is a very powerful way to raise your vibration. Affirmation, I spend time in nature and align myself with Source. 
Thanks, you guys, Gemini. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.